doesn't matter if you like me, hate me, you do, I beat your favorite wrestler, it doesn't matter. By the end of the show, bro, bro. I'm about to go in and check out one of the best independent wrestling promotions around, Smash Wrestling. And tonight's a wild card featuring the King of Bros himself, Matt Riddle. In 2008, Riddle started his stint in the UFC and quickly became one of their biggest prospects. But five years later, he famously got kicked out for failing two drug tests. I was fighting in the UFC, fight after fight, injury after injury, you know, and uh, I'd go to the doctor after hand surgeries and knee surgeries and they'd prescribe me Oxycontin, Vicodin, Hydrocodone, whatever, you know, and I don't take pills, I just never had. So I was using marijuana, used it for pain management and that was my demise. I failed a drug test, my second failed drug test. A lot of people categorize marijuana use or cannabis use with, oh, he's a criminal, he's a drug dealer, oh, he's got a problem, he's an addict. I use a little bit of marijuana. After getting kicked out of the UFC, Riddle decided to go into pro wrestling. And ever since he arrived on the independent circuit, he's been a powerhouse. 2017 was his biggest year yet. It's amazing how you're this over and yet never been in the WWE. What do you attribute that to? That wasn't my UFC background that just got me so over. It was being real. And the one thing, especially in sports entertainment, where you got Vikings fighting clowns and all sorts of craziness, well, Matt Riddle, you can connect to. You can connect to a guy that worked hard and was struggling and then lost his job and then is literally making his way back up in a completely different profession. So I think that's why I was able to have such success so quickly. And with WWE, even when they get a talent, you know, even if it's an outrageous character before they get there, when they get there, it's toned down. The promos are scripted. And people hate that. They like surprises. They like a good story. And it's one of the major reasons why I love wrestling independence. Like, I have all the freedom in the world, and I get to be the king of bros. I get to be Matt Riddle. I get to be me. So what goes through your head when you hear that crowd start with the bro chant before you come out? When I hear the bro chant, I just start smiling. It's, it's amazing. It's my Daniel Bryan, yes. I, I remember probably like eight months ago when it first started like happening. And like some people would know bro, so I'd have like one guy be like, bro, bro. And then I'd go in there, kill it. It doesn't matter if you like me, hate me, you do, I beat your favorite wrestler, it doesn't matter. By the end of the show, bro, bro. Bro, and dude, I can't explain it. Twenty sixteen was breakout year. Twenty seventeen, I was undeniable, I believe. And I think this year, it's just I'm just going to become extremely valuable. I'm so happy with my life, and if it stops here, and this is all I ever do, and this is where it ends, I'm still super stoked because, in my eyes, I look at it like this: I don't need to be the main guy. I don't need to be the biggest star. Just to be me, live my life the way I want it, and maybe have a couple fans. 